for the time being, well, let's turn our attention to the cement space. That's been buzzing around. And Birla Corp, they reported a rather steady set of numbers for the past quarter. They have their new facility. That's uh, the Mukutban unit, which is ramping up. But what's the way ahead? To help us out with that, we have Aditya Sarogi, the chief financial officer who joins us on the show. Hi, Mr. Sarogi. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining in here on CNBC TV 18. Well, when you joined us last, you were telling us that you're expecting volumes to grow by close to 15%, which is, appears achievable going by your first quarter run rate. But the EBITDA per ton as well, uh, you had said that you're expecting it to move to around 850 rupees per ton. Now, that's a far cry away. Do you stick to both those two numbers? Good morning, Nigel. Thank you for having me on the show. Uh, at this juncture, yes, our uh, volumes and EBITDA were marginally uh, lower than what we had expected. But uh, we do expect uh, EBITDA per ton of 850 uh, to uh, sustain for this year. There are a few reasons for that. One, the uh, full impact of uh, fuel price uh, correction is yet to play out. So in the coming quarters also, we expect uh, further uh, toning down of the fuel cost and the oil cost. That should help us uh, improve the profitability further. And also the fact that our uh, profitability at Mukherjee plant will continue to improve on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis for the uh, remaining year. And thirdly, the management is working with a lot of initiatives the full impact of which will be seen in the uh, subsequent quarters. So that right. gives us confidence that we should be, uh, uh, I mean, able to achieve the EBITDA pattern of 850 rupees per ton. In terms of volume, uh, yes, we are still working with a figure of 15% uh, growth overall, uh, despite the fact that, uh, uh, I mean, uh, it was in Q1, it was marginally low, but the demand environment in general remains to be quite strong. So I think that number should be achieved. All right. Uh, you know, a quick couple of numbers uh, then with regard to this EBITDA per ton of 850 rupees. By when do you hit it? From quarter two onwards? Or is it a story of the second half of the year? Uh, it will be more of a story of the second half of the year because uh, okay. due to seasonally also uh, it is a, a, a week because of monsoon mm -hmm. the demand is uh, lower. So it will be more of a story of second half of the year. All right, Mr. Sarogi, you know, one part that the street is a little bit concerned about is you have this uh, Kundangaj uh, unit, right, where you get some uh, incentive. For the past quarter, yeah. I believe it was around 45 crores. Now, if I yeah. try to remove it on a per ton basis, that was roughly around 100 rupees per ton. So that is the bump mm -hmm. up you got. And this incentive will expire in the fourth quarter. So all eyes will right. be on the incentives you'll be getting from Mukudban unit. So give us a couple of numbers. What is the incentive you're looking to receive? From Mukutban, I mean, that's already fixed, but if you could just give us the updated number. And by when do we see it? Earlier, you were telling us by quarter three, but I think now it's looking like you'll get it on quarter four. Give us some clarity. Okay. So, uh, you're right. Uh, our Kundangan incentives uh, uh, will uh, expire in... Uh, in fact, we'll be able to exhaust the whole of it uh, by Q4 of this year. But we will start getting the incentive from our Mukutman plant. Uh, so we have maintained that maybe instead of quarter three, uh, it could be uh, uh, quarter four. So either quarter three end or quarter four. That's what uh, we are maintaining. In terms of the numbers, uh, we expect the incentive to be north of 600 rupees per ton. Okay, 600 rupees per ton. And for Mukutman no, itself, got it. And for Mukutman itself, uh, what kind of volumes are you looking at for this year? Uh, if you could give us an, a, a number and also a beta per ton guidance for Mukutban since now it's ramping up. And also I wanted to ask you, the big player in there is Ambuja Cements. They're expanding as well. Do you think it'll be a bit of a challenge since you're both on the West Coast? Okay. So uh, in terms of uh, volume, we uh, had planned to exit at 2 lakh tons uh, this year. So we are maintaining that we're still trying to exit uh, uh, the volume at uh, two lot tons at Mukutban. But the ramp up may not be uniform because it is also a function of the realization. For example, in this quarter, the realization in that region were down by about 200 rupees. So it, it may not be uniform in that sense. But our strategy overall is uh, very clear that we want to ramp it, up, ramp it up as soon as possible, but in a profitable manner. 
Okay. okay. And so coming to the second question, we are not uh, disclosing with a person of Mukherjee separately because you must appreciate that uh, 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 cement is such a regional, region specific play. For example, in first quarter in the central region, the price was uh, largely stable. We just had a drop of uh, 30 rupees. Whereas in case of the eastern and the western region, the drop was in excess of 200 rupees. So it is always better to see the picture on an overall basis rather than a region specific basis. Okay, all right. You know, the street is little bit worried actually on Mukodban because Ambuja uh, Cements is expanding so, very, very yeah. uh, rapidly out there. But we take that guidance. Uh, Two lakh tons uh, per month is what you're looking at. So for the year, you'll be in the vicinity of around two and a half million tons approximately from Mukodban. No, 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 uh, no, no. no. no to, yeah. I'm sorry. You, uh, the exit of the exit is two uh, lakh tons. We started with one lakh tons. Uh, last okay. year we exited at one lakh tons. Okay, so if so you for... uh, consider the average, it works out to about one hundred and fifty. So maybe one forty, one hundred and fifty on an average uh, uh, is uh, something. If if at all, it is on a uniform basis. Okay, so it'll be a little lower than two million tons then for the year. Uh, you know, on an average, one point eight to around two million tons approximately is what you could d- deliver in terms of volumes from Mukutban, right? No, on an average, if it is one point four to one point five, it will be slightly uh, short of that. Okay, got it. So let's yeah, keep that yeah. aside. Then, besides the operational performance, Mr. Sarogi, what about the debt? You know, you have a debt, I think, of around three and a half thousand crores, little uh, little higher than that, and you have a capex of close to around a thousand crores that you told us about the last time. Now you are saying I don't want to do in any any inorganic growth, but maybe your balance sheet doesn't support that, right? Because your debt is anyway going to stay in this vicinity of around four thousand crores odd. My question to you is: In which year will you see this debt number come down to say? Two thousand five hundred crores. See, Nigel, uh, we have always maintained that uh, uh, we would like to maintain our debt to a better ratio uh, uh, of less than two. Now, <coughs> because of the Mukutban expansion last year, we had exceeded that. But uh, this year, we are working uh, towards achieving that number of uh, three on an annual basis. So. We should, uh, for for our company, uh, one should look at the debt EBITDA number rather than looking at debt on an absolute basis. Once we are comfortably within the uh, uh, region of uh, three or the limit of three, we would like to uh, uh, take on the further expansion, further growth plans. As long as we feel that uh, that number of debt to EBITDA uh, of three is sustainable. We would like to grow rather than bringing down the debt. That But will Mr. be our policy. But Mr. Sarogi, what about uh, bringing down this debt number? You know, and also just want to clear the air. You're not interested in inorganic growth, right? From 20 to 30 million tons will be organic. <clears throat> Absolutely. I mean, as of now, that is the case. I mean, maybe five years down the line, if we see a very uh, lucrative uh, opportunity, and if my balance sheet can support that, why not? Okay. <clears throat> All right, sir. We will wrap it up on that note. Uh, thank you very much for uh, joining in and giving us all the details on the business. That is Birla Cop.